Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Lou Dobbs just wrecked Jeff Sessions and talks about that the dirty secret deep state may have on him. Fox Business Lou Dobbs thinks that Jeff Sessions may have been compromised by the deep state. He recused himself from the Russia collusion witch hunt that is plaguing the Trump administration. He seems to have been set up according to Lou Dobbs. Lou Dobbs, I have great respect for Jeff Sessions. He's been an important voice in the U.S. Senate. His disappearance makes me think either they have an enormous file on him in the deep state that is prohibiting him from serving the president he signed up to serve. Now, let's get this out there. We need to get the word out about Jeff Sessions. God bless the United States. Keep on fighting. Trump wins big net neutrality just burned in flames after what happened today. There has been a massive fight over the internet going on here recently. They called it net neutrality. Well, thanks to the hard-fought efforts of Trump's FCC chairman Ajit Pai, the battle has finally been decided. President Trump eliminated net neutrality. Now, let me explain to you all what that means for the country and for you. On one side, you had Republicans who want to allow government oversight and competitive pricing for Internet service providers. They stood against net neutrality. On the other hand, the Democrats wanted to keep Obama's net rules which give absolute authority of the Internet to Google, Facebook, and Amazon. Because of this authority, they have been able to kick conservatives like Liberty Writers off their websites and nobody can do a damn thing. Now there will finally be competition. Are cable providers perfect? Hell no. They operate as sanctioned monopolies in many areas and overcharge their customers. However, anything to take away power from the Internet giants is a good thing right about now. Thanks to the new rules, ISPs will now be able to charge companies like Facebook for the amount of Internet they use. As of now, Facebook pays about as much for the Internet a month as you do to support billions of users. That's not fair. Net neutrality has also slowed the internet down by stopping ISPs from investing in new infrastructures to improve speeds. Also, it's worth noting that net neutrality has only existed since 2015. The internet worked just fine before it and will work fine without it. As an American voter, the final verdict is yours to make. Let Trump and his FCC know what you think about the end of net neutrality in the comments below. Breaking Kentucky representative kills himself, see sick reason he may have done it. Last night, Kentucky State Representative Dan Johnson took his own life. He was under investigation for alleged sexual misconduct and molestation. Johnson has denied the charges and Johnson denied the charges and was not charged criminally. He was charged by the media. It's a horrible story. Whether someone is guilty of sexual molestation it's just evil to cheer on his suicide. He was a father and grandfather and nothing was ever proven. Johnson's body was discovered in Washington on a bridge. Horrifying. Keep in mind that these sexual allegations haven't been proven, yet. These people are calling for politicians they disagree with to die. This level of language and calls to die have not been seen in this country since the Civil War. We are all American brothers and sisters and that is important to remember this Christmas season. Share the brotherhood of being born in the greatest country in the world and get this article out so that we can heal the divide in this country. Rep. Jim Jordan made Jaws hit the floor with what he unleashed about Rod Rosenstein on the Senate floor. Congressman Jim Jordan, R.O., 
grilled Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein over her role in Peter Strzok's role in the Hillary Clinton email investigation and the Mueller probe that came out during Wednesday's House committee hearing. Rod Rosenstein needed this rapid whipping. There is too much fishy crap when it comes to his role in setting up the Mueller probe. Of course, Jordan is talking about Peter Strzok. Peter Storsk was removed from Mueller's team and expressed support for Hillary Clinton and even called Trump a F an idiot and a DJ and even said F Trump. Strzok said that he was like super agent James Bond at the FBI. He said that he is on a mission to protect Americans from Trump. That's horrifying that an investigator on Mueller's team is that biased to take down our sitting president. This is unbelievable, the Ohio lawmaker told Rosenstein. I think the public trust in this whole thing is gone, added Jordan. As Jim Hoft reported earlier that Rosenstein said that there was no cause to fire Mueller from the witch hunt against Trump. We need to get this out there, patriots. The media, the government and the whole damn swamp is colluding against our president and working overtime to take him down. Yes. 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 Finally, someone with some balls to stand up for the American people in Congress. Let's show some support to Congressman Jim Jordan. Thanks for reading. Anderson Cooper hacked. Look what sick thing leaked that he did to Trump. On Wednesday, President Trump tweeted about Judge Roy Moore's election loss. He pointed out that the odds were stacked against him. Time and time again the talking heads and celebrities in America attack our president and then accuse of him of being a demagogue. It's damned sad. The best part of Anderson Cooper's apparent outburst is that he didn't seem to apologize too hard about it. There is an even bigger hack and that's Anderson Cooper himself. Don't listen to me. Listen to the ratings. His ratings have been halved since last year. Describe Anderson Cooper below in two words. Best answer gets to be my hero. ITs over Alabama just picked a new senator that nobody saw coming. After one of the most dramatic special elections in my lifetime, a winner has finally emerged to take over Jeff Sessions's old Alabama Senate seat. For the first time in several decades, a Democrat now represents the great state of Alabama in the U.S. Senate. That's right why apostrophe all dot dot Jones beat Roy Moore. The sad part about this election for Republicans is not just that we lost a major U.S. Senate seat, it's that the honest to God truth is we easily could have beaten Doug Jones if anyone other than Roy Moore had been our candidate. Maybe you remember a few months back when President Trump and A.G. Sessions had both strongly endorsed Luther Strange to take the old seat. That is because they both know what we know now, Roy Moore was unelectable. It wasn't just the alleged dating teenage girls issue that did it. Roy Moore was simply a guy who many people find disagreeable. He was a loose cannon with a horrible campaign staff. In fact, the only reason he won the primary and we're in this position was because of the support he received from Steve Bannon. Otherwise, we would be congratulations Senator Strange right now instead of lowering the Republican majority to a measly 51 seats. This is not good for the party, either. Since McCain almost never votes Republican and Jeff Flake might as well be a Democrat these days, we only have 49 votes left. That is not enough to pass anything concerning the wall. DACA, Obamacare, etc. We do need to remember, however, that this is not a rejection of the Republican Party or the MAGA agenda. This is entirely a rejection of Roy Moore and, if we remember that, we can still win big in 2018. It is now more important than ever that Republicans manage to win the 2018 elections since now our majority is in a bad place. We got to get everyone we know out to vote or else we are in for a very long two years. Like always, leave a comment and let's work together to make the USA great again. It's not over till it's over.
what Jimmy Kimmel did to attack Roy Moore today is frickin' sickening. This video takes the cake. Jimmy Kimmel aired it on national TV and showed a 12-year-old girl interviewing Judge Roy Moore and then showed something. Horrible. Here's what you need to know. The girl in the film is Millie March. She got famous for her adorable video of her endorsing Donald Trump at CPAC. Jimmy Kimmel is absolutely frickin' obsessed with Roy Moore and working to defeat him after their Twitter argument. Kimmel donated $5,400 to Moore's opponent Doug Jones. Obviously we faked that, but if he had done it, they'd still defend him, Kimmel said immediately after the clip to the audience's a laughter. The interview was conducted in Alabama and was very professional compared to the lewd display that Kimmel aired on national TV. We decided that we were going to bring Millie to Alabama, after everything that's happened in this Alabama Senate race up until this point, said Jennifer Lawrence from the pro-Trump America First Project PAC. According to Dustin Stockton from the America First Project, the video was a lewd and vile video that has triggered liberals across the country. It's time to stop the degeneracy of the democratic machine. Why are they showing this crap on TV? It's simple. It's because they're sick.